Welcome back, my fishy friends. This is M Dog. And uh, today's video is sponsored by Mr. H1N1. In all seriousness, go check out his channel. Very active YouTuber and uh, fellow player of RF4. But his videos always pop up on my YouTube channel, I'm on, when I'm on YouTube, that is. And I always like to check out what he's doing. And lately, I've been seeing him playing this um, Trophy Fishing 2, which I've really, at this point, played, I feel like, almost all the fishing games out there. I was actually looking at, like, this really deep, like, well, I don't know if it's deep, but this, like, really niche fly fishing game that you have to buy through, like, Microsoft Windows or something the other day. And I was like, okay, I've never played this fishing game. But um, the more I digged into it, the less appealing it looked. But anyway, Trophy Fishing 2. I found it on Steam. Looks like it's free to play, so I've downloaded it. Uh, I've got it pulled up. But um, but we're going uh, to either thank or blame Mr. H1N1 for this one. And uh, I will try to remember to link you to his delightful youtube channel uh he definitely plays not only a lot of fishing games but occasionally he'll play other things that are sort of off the wall games which i kind of appreciate um he's been doing a lot of good videos over the last few months so uh <laughs> there's our sponsor let's get back to the game uh what is this called uh fishing for trophies no trophy fishing two so uh, theoretically there was a trophy fishing one can we actually can we can we clear that up really quick uh, by the way, it's, it's worth mentioning, uh, Overgroup is the developer and publisher of this. Let's just click on that. Mostly positive reviews. So if there was a trophy fishing one, it's, uh, it, it doesn't appear to be on steam to be fair. Uh, let me just look real quick. We'll give a little more, uh, a little more time for Mista's YouTube channel to be, <laughs> to be front and center. Uh, you know, if you search trophy fishing, <laughs> a lot of things are going to come up. Trophy fishing the game, not necessarily going to come up. Uh, so I'm actually going to look at the developer. And see. Yeah, so I'm not going to be able to find this information. I'm sure it's out there. Um, and I feel like if there's a trophy fishing too, then yeah, there should have been a trophy fishing one. Anyway, this is literally the first screen after starting the games. I'm going to get myself out of the way. Um, cause who knows how important this, uh, real estate is going to be here. All right. So this is some sort of tutorial. It looks like player assistant. Um, okay. Open the slot with the rods. So I'm just going to close this for now open this slot close the slot with the rods it's just what showing us i i'm confused already this is a tf 500 inception by the way nothing's happening it's the only one we have all right we'll close this uh doesn't this make you kind of think of a uh, mobile game uh, especially with the way we're getting like rewards for doing what it's telling us to do i totally feel like i'm playing a mobile game right now um so i can open this letter and mission complete. So the question is, did I get these? Maybe I have to close that first. Wait, where did my letter go? It's not very nice. Open the tablet. Okay, it wants me to open the tablet again. Messages, there we go. Mission complete, okay. So, We've opened the mail window. We've done this. See, like, normally I feel like, oh, no, it crashed. Normally I feel like you get some sort of indication, like, yes, we've given you the reward. Uh, is that the problem? It's made with Unity? Just kidding, Unity. Okay, I crashed the game by clicking on the wrong button at the wrong time, I feel like. But see, again... Thanks for logging in. The more times you log in, the more gifts you get. Which I kind of like some of that stuff, maybe. All right, we're going to assume that we've gotten the gift now, okay? Um, oh, man, it literally follows where you are. Okay, open the window of the bait selection. Here you can change size of the hook, depth of the fishing, and choose another bait. 
Okay, it doesn't really tell me where to do that yet. The bait selection. Hold on, let's think about this. Where would it be? Oh, over here. Yes. All right, so this is where we can, oh, look at that. Fish on the surface, middle, or bottom. Go different hook sizes. We definitely wanna start small. We have a lot of bread. Makes sense. All right. Tutorial me next, please. Point the cursor to the place where you want to throw the bait and press the last left mouse button. Wait for a bite and set the hook by pressing the left mouse button. Okay, that seems simple enough. So I'm, I'm seeing like how far can we look? That's as far as we go to the left. It looks like as far as we go to the right. Okay, so let's come back onto the screen here. And okay, so theoretically, different gear might let us throw different uh, different distances. This looks like that's about as far as we can cast with this. Wait for the bite sound and click the left mouse button to set the hook. So we're more listening for the sound than we are looking at the movement of the float. Is that correct? I saw some wiggle. Oh, there it went. I heard the sound too. All right, I'm holding down the left mouse button to uh, reel it in. Now I'm lifting up. I assume that's what we want to do. Wait, what is that? Is that a fish? Uh, an an Abramus Balarus Zope. Okay, deal breaker for me is I can't rotate the fish. I just, in RF4, any game, if I can rotate the fish, I have to rotate the fish. I can't rotate the fish. I wonder what that means. Isn't that usually like energy? How much energy you have when you're playing a mobile game on your phone? All right, we'll take the two coins though. Let's see if he approved of that. Catch five fish to prove that you really learned to catch. He doesn't think we actually have learned to catch. So we'll do this again. Actually, what we should do after this is uh, change the depth that we're fishing at. All right, and then if you lift it up, you kind of drag it out of the water, it looks like. Oh, it's a gudgeon. We know this fish, but we only got one coin for that one. All right, let's, um, so what I wish is that I could hit control and move my mouse cursor without moving the rod like a crazy man. I'm going to be honest, that bothers me. Um, expert? Look at all the things we can catch at this depth using this hook and this bait. Holy cow. All right, let's go to middle. Does that change it? Yes, a little smaller list. What about surface? Oops, I did not mean to switch hooks. I mean, yeah, we want to stay the small size for now, I'm sure. All right, so we're kind of, we've got the smallest list on the surface. So let's close it and let's try to do some little surface fishing. Because we still have to catch four more fish. Can I tell you what I wish? Uh, do you just not... Okay, there's a Caspian roach. Uh, do you just not catch the fish unless you l do the rod way up? We'll, we'll try that this next time. We're going to just like... We're just going to keep reeling. We're going to keep it down and keep reeling. Do you know what I wish though? I wish that Russian Fishing 3 was translated into English. And had the depth of that Russian Fishing 3 currently has. Oh, look at that, a Bellica, and we got three silver coins. I kind of like this fishing on the top. It's just a smaller list of, list of fish we can get, and if some of them like that one give us decent coin, it's kind of cool. We'll uh, catch one more, and then we'll change to middle depth since we haven't done that yet. Russian Fishing 3 has so much depth, it's amazing. Uh, I definitely struck too early, maybe not. Maybe it was perfect time. It was perfect time. That's a tiny Bellica, 0.061 kilos. Um, but if Russian th Fishing 3 was in translated fully into English, and if it had graphics even that were kind of like this, I don't know if that would actually get, make the game better or worse. Maybe that's not the part I want. Maybe I just want it translated into English. If you've seen Russian Fishing 3, it's basically like just really pretty pictures 
and then the most simplistic of UI to indicate where you're fishing it. So it's not like, it's not about the 3D fishing and that kind of stuff at all, but it does have a ton of depth and it's really cool. But anyway, that's not what we're playing because it's in Russian and I've tried to do that and it's just too much. But anyway, this is trophy fish too, or something like that. At this time we were catching bottom fish. No, 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 I've moved it. I'm, I'm well beyond you. I wish this fella had a name. Like, I don't know who I'm talking to. Click on the select indicator and set the depth surface. I, I don't know how to tell you this, but I did that a long time ago. I'm well ahead of you. All right, let's see if we can cast far over to the left. How far can we get right there? So now we got to catch three theoretically on the surface. Cool, cool, active spot we found here. Pretty sure we want to check a different spot, don't we? That was uh, way too long to wait, I feel like. Let's head back over to the right side a little more. Probably making this a little harder than we need to. All right, so if you just straight reel in, don't raise the rod. Yep, you will eventually get it. Okay, now what's going on with this? Wait, does it mean we hit level one? We got 25, I'm going to say bloodworms. One gold, by the way, like a mobile game. I bet gold is the for real cash currency, if I had to guess. And 250 silver, probably the end game. Look at this freshwater bream. It looks great. And it's 0.1 kilo. It's tiny. Should be a silver bream. We gotta catch two more. So where do I see my level? I don't guess you can see it on this screen, right? We have four pearls? I don't know what that is. All right, I think it does look better though if we do lift the rod up in the air as we're reeling it in. But the problem is you never see the um, 0.17. Nice, three silver. You never see the fish on the hook, do you? You don't see it till you actually get it in the water. It doesn't look like there's any graphics of the fish in the water, coming out of the water, on your line. As best I can tell, that's just not there. Do I have a name in this game? Like, does it use my Steam name? Abelica again. All right, that should be it. I think dude's gonna talk to us again, if I'm not mistaken. Hello, dude? Yes. You can strengthen the test or capacity of the fishing rod. Here with, nice, you can cope, I can't cope actually, with the fish twice as hard. Energy undertakes this function to activate it. Hold down the space bar while angling. What? What? We have a certain amount of energy to help cope with the fish? Ooh, I'm, I'm coping, I'm coping, I'm coping. It's our first just normal roach, isn't it? All right, I coped with it. Are you happy? If the energy is running out, you can replenish it with any energy drink. Follow the instructions. Open the energy control window. Okay. Energy will help you fish, f help you during large, fishing large fish. While angling large fish, hold down the space bar. From the 10th level, you'll have an opportunity to increase the power of energy and the chances of catching a trophy specimen will be much higher. To increase the power of energy, press shift. Wait, what? Each press removes one bottle of energy and adds 25% to the power. You can go all the way up to 100%. Okay. I sort of understood that. Over time, catching the same fish, nope, catching with the same fishing rod, you'll earn points of habituation. Habituation. They can be, 
habit to habituation they can be used to strengthen the rod let's try to speed up the leveling of your fishing rod what we're gonna level up my fishing rod what if i want a different fishing rod open the rod selection window that's this right oh nope 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 that's this Ooh, what is this gonna cost me cost two gold oh do we have to we have to to get through the tutorial I don't think that's a good investment. Beginner fishing rod, we're spending real gold on it. How to view all that you have achieved? Let's go into your profile in the tablet and take a look at your achievements. All right, this isn't the tablet, is it? Tablet down here? Main menu? Yeah, profile? M-Dog. We have zero out of 50 fishing license. Is that what that, that says? Okay. Volga Pier, is that, that's where we are? We have zero tournament awards. That can't be right. Current rating of the player? Hmm. Okay. I'm not sure they fully understand who they're dealing with here. Look where is the top of best players located. To do this, click the top icon in the tablet. All right, going back to tablet. Top. Wait. I mean, good job. Can I type? Greetings all. We said hello in chat. Uh-oh, where'd it go though? To, there it went. Look at that delay. To view the last fish you caught, press the fish corral. Coral? It's also in the player's profile. Nearby, there's also a list of your trophies, the trophies button. Uh, that's going to be up here, right? Oh, open the tablet. Profile. Fish corral. That's everything we've caught. Okay. This tutorial is interesting. Now let's try to find out what you've achieved for all this time. Find the achievement icon on the tablet. Their main part of the income for novice fishermen. Achievements. So you want me to click on this, right? Catch up. There you go. Uh, wait. We have no achievements? Catch 50 fish on bread. We're 10 out of 50. Yeah, we're not getting there tonight. All right. What else would you like to teach us? Oh, great tutorial friend. That is a nice, I'm, I'm going to say Prussian carp. You know, if you're going to base that on what that graphic typically rep represents in other fishing games, I'm thinking Fishing Planet, Prussian carp. Tired of location? Not a big deal. You can travel not only in locations, but even in different rivers not the, the neil the danube the volga all this is available to you right from the beginning you're crazy from the beginning i can go to those three places how do i go there tablet it looks like uh oh we got to be careful we have uh we've been kicked from the game for clicking on that but oh crap that's the tablet button though there it is. Map. Here you can choose a suitable map and change any of the unlocked locations. Locked locations you can open by completing the quest or just buy an opening of that location for gold. <laughs> Credit card. You can read the quest terms when you hover the mouse over a certain location. Close the map. Okay, I didn't see like how to open Amazon, but I'll take your word for it. Let's get distracted a little bit. You've earned pearls on the last assignment. Pearls can be used in the game. Lucky fishing. Unlock the mini game and use one pearl. What? Mini game? A game within a game. Let's open the tablet. Let's go to games. We've got 
Sea locations? What? Lucky fishing. What is this? Oh, they don't tell you what it is? That looks like uh, like a PVA bag or something. 300 silver and maybe some uh, some pasta? Where's my inventory? I didn't open it. So you need to go to the shop for, for, for a bread? Wait, what? Yes, yes, you didn't miss here. Walk into the shop and buy the bait flavored bread. Okay, I'll walk into the shop. Oh, that's cool. Okay, you can look left and right with WASD. Oh, gosh. But you can't move that I can tell. Okay, open the tablet. I got you. Shop. Ooh, I want to look at all this. I guess we'll come when we get through the tutorial. Uh, flavored bread? It costs another gold. Why are they using up all our gold? What's that going to do? Give us a boost, a buff, I bet. A friend in court is better worth a penny in a per... I don't know, guys. There might be some translation issues. I'm just not sure. Inviting friends to the game, you help us in promotion and make the game more cheerful. Let's open the friends invitation window. Oh, who are we going to pick on and send a... Uh, troll invitation to come play with us profile invite invite okay i guess it's not going to make us do it right now if something isn't clear about the game you can always find the most you find the most information of interest in the player assistant let's see where that's located okay open the player assistant Uh, so, maybe in the tablet? Oh, uh, am I blind? I'm just not seeing it. It's the, is it the question mark up here? Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. That's a lot of words. In chat room, you can always ask for the assistance of others, or you can just chat. If you don't need it, you can hide it. Try out all three options of chat status. Do I select that here? If you, if you will not have enough any resources in the game, you can always refill your account. Go into the window of financial transactions. Open the window of buying gold. 30 gold for one USD. 100 dollars will give you 3000 gold plus 2000 gold plus 50 pearls so maybe pearls are the more oh no that's going to open up steam who knows what that's going to do yes cancel transaction all right all right we're good in the game settings you can always change what you don't like the quality of graphics the volume of sounds check it out for yourself the main thing don't forget to click that apply button at the end. Very nice fella. He's a very nice fella. I, I just, the delay is a little annoying. Uh, oh, we're going max, max. Uh, actually, the volume's been fine, to be honest. English. Uh, oh, we should inversion, but that's fine. We'll just leave it now. Oh, uh, wait, you're not going to let me do it because All right, I think next time when we load the game, next time we crash the game, <laughs> we'll have max graph set graphic settings. Let's be honest here. It's not going to make a big difference. It often happens that because of inexperience, some fishermen don't know what can be caught on certain combinations of tackles and baits at certain locations. In such situation, you can always use the service local expert, find it in the bait changing panel. Yeah, I noticed that. Um, oh, look, we have blood worms. Oh, the flavored bread is something we use. I, th I literally thought we were going to eat this for a buff. Okay. All right, cool. Yeah, he'll tell us. 
We should try blood worms, though. That sounds fun. If this tutorial ever ends. You did an excellent job of learning. You joined the ranks of professionals. Do the last task and take the road for new trophies and impressions. Look into the local market. There you can sell surplus of rare bait or buy them from other players. We're going to get five. See, I think because it's like a... It should tell you... If you hover over some, it should tell you what it is. We're going to get five of all those things. It also does bother me that... Um, open the tablet. Go to the shop. Go to the market. Close the market. So is this a player-run market? It's just baits and, and lures and stuff? Okay. Okay. Do you have any more instructions for us, or is that are we really done? I mean, he, he basically said you're a professional now, but he might have just been blowing smoke. All right. Um, so what did we want to look at? I think the shop. So, like, if we want to upgrade our fishing rod. Unfortunately, I don't remember. Oh, we have the TF500. So, the next upgrade, we have to be level 2, first of all. Costs 1,500 silver. We can already afford it, okay? So, we need to remember that. Wait, what is... Are all these, is all this different equipment? Like, this is a different type of fishing, isn't it? You gotta be level 12 and it costs 50,000. And this is lure fishing, right? And this one, the TFS1, cost 1,500. So this is just float fishing. Okay, that's kind of cool, uh, I guess. Let, let's look at this shop again baits now hopefully there's going to be more baits at different places don't you think that's got to be the case profile trophies con so let's 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 see if we can go to like do we know where we are right now how is it that we saw where we are right now maybe under profile so we're on the volga pier it's just like volga dude uh, so if nothing else, let's, let's, um, let's see if we can go to a different part of Volga. We're here. Paid location. Wait, paid location? Okay, so it does show you what you need to do. We need to catch these things to open it. So can we even go to the second map? Like, is there a starter place we could go to at the Danube? Yes, the Danube Pier. Do we try that? Let's try that because we have some questions about the shop that needs to be answered. Okay, so this looks a little different. Starter place of the Danube Pier, right? I want to try using blood worms. I want to go to a deeper depth. But the first thing I want to do is go back to the shop and see, are there different baits here? Yes. Dough. There's already different baits, right? Still no lures. Or whatever this is. This looks like some kind of bottom fishing rig, doesn't it? Okay, it's kind of interesting. The problem with bottom fishing in this kind of game is I'm sure you're only going to be able to use one rod. Although it's probably also going to be a really fast bite rate. Um, yeah, we're not going to go with a bigger hook. And we're going to go to the bottom. What does the fish expert think blood worms will catch here? Holy cow. Luck of the draw. Let's just see what we can do here. Oh, I cast it. I didn't even mean to. This is great. Can we look around while it's in the water? Yeah, we can. Cool. Come on, blood worms. Don't fail me. I need to be remember. I need to remember the space bar thing. I don't. I think it was shift that did something else. Like this is a very small fish. A bitterling. It's a new fish though. Let's just see how much like, how much variety, ooh shoot. How much variety will we have just using the same bait, the same spot, same size hook. Wait, a new trophy? That was a trophy? 
I'm sorry, it looks like my uh, float disappeared. So I'm gonna recast. And, and hold on a second. We just caught a trophy? Wait, all these can't be trophies. Are trophies that easy to catch here? Huh. All right, let's watch that float. It looked like it disappeared last time. All right, it's right there. We're good. I'm not sure if that was me that caught it. I, I'm not sure. Let's see. It must have been. All right, there's a gudgeon. That was a trophy gudgeon. Have I just like unlocked the master bait bloodworms and small hooks? I don't remember where it says our level. Oh crap. Holy cow. Guys, I wasn't even paying attention. I was lost in thought. We should have just like chilled. I don't know if it would have been possible to get that in, but that definitely was not the right approach. <clears throat> I think it's another trophy. Maybe they don't really mean trophy in the way that we think of trophy. An alarming percentage of fish that we've caught, especially since coming to this map, have been trophy, right? We're going to try it one more time because you hear that music in the background? I don't know if you can hear it, but it's like a heavenly chant. I think that's what you play when you get a trophy. I want to cast one more time here just on the chance that we can hit a large one again and see if we would have had even a, like an, a fighting chance on that fish using power and stuff. No tiny fish, like smallest fish in the world. Another gudgeon. So at least we caught something that's not a trophy. I mean, that makes me feel better. Um, I, I really want to know like what level we are. Current level one YP period. And, and I don't really see Like where's our where's our experience bar? How do we know when we level level up? It's a lot of trophies for just starting to have played this game. All right, um, we're gonna go back to the first place. Oh no, let's go to the Nile. Let's see if all like if not all, but if a lot of these places have. Um, oh, this is pretty, as as you know, as this game goes. Um, so again, the question of shop. Uh, I'm starting to doubt myself. Maybe the bait you can buy is more based on what level you are. We're going to run out of bloodworm, by the way. I guess we should see how much it costs to get more bloodworm. Oh, maybe we can't? They're not in the shop yet, right? can't believe we are going on 35 minutes on this playing this game on this video this is amazing <gasps> I screwed it up my fault I didn't mean to very slow bite rate though we had a nibble going but it didn't didn't get on there yet this might not be the location for us using this fishing style or this bait this bait uh, I wonder what here, let's reel this in real quick. I wonder what the fishing expert would tell us about using bloodworms here. 
Oh, that's some weird looking fish. That's a weird looking fish list. We also should try that flavored bread, but I wonder if we shouldn't try it on a medium size hook at the starter place and just take our chances. We don't have the equipment for a medium sized fish, obviously, but or a medium sized hook, but just to see what happens. We're gonna catch some big carp that we're not gonna be able to handle. If I'm playing a game like this though, I kinda wanna master the first place first. I mean, you just feel like you're probably supposed to stay there for a little while. I could be wrong though. Look at how long the bite takes here. We'll give it another couple minutes and then we're just gonna head back to the first place. I just wanted to see the different, what does this mean? Wait, is that a quest? Hold on, we've got to look at that again. We did catch a fish though here. All right, let's see what kind of weird fish we caught. This is a decent, only one silver. Okay, that's embarrassing. Hold on, is, are these quests? European perch, cherokin, or a weed shiner. Uh, I think we want to have a little bit more information before we select that. Oh, that's kind of cool. I guess we could start that. It doesn't look like it cost anything to start the tournament. Okay, that's kind of interesting. All right, I want to go back to the first place. And I want to look to see if European perch is a possibility. Yes. Okay. What about at middle? Still a possibility. And what about at surface? We want to like rule out as many things as possible. Okay, so we want to be at middle. Uh, what about on the bread? Not a possibility. So we're going to be looking at worm baits. Um, what about if we go with a medium sized hook? Oh, we have macaroni. That was one of our prizes. All right, what if we go blood worms, medium? Uh, buffalo? Yeah, we're not going to be able to get those fish in. European perch is still on the list though. Let's see if we can get lucky and catch a European perch. All right, we're starting a new quest. Now, if we go back to the quest thing, does it show our quest? Okay. Wait, we need 25 kilos of European perch? What the crap? Okay, here we go, folks. We probably are not going to be able to get this fish in, but we tried at least once. Medium hook, blood worms. Here we go. Oh, crap. All right. All right. Here we go. We're fighting it. Oh, I think we're going to get this fish in, guys. We've got a chance here. Am I reading this wrong? Is this fish 0.2 kilos? So what would that be? 250 grams? That's a, uh, a trophy roach, by the way. Um... Okay, so if we look at the map, what do we think is the second easiest place to unlock? Large fish, excellent pond fish, that looks fun. Okay, so all we need is a little bit more weight, but we need to catch Schneiders, Bleaks, Gobies, and Amur Bitterlings. That's probably doable for us if we focused it. Okay, that's big boy fishing. That's big boy fishing. And that's like, so it probably is meant to go. Volga Pier, Abandoned Pond, Creek. Okay, if I had to guess. Now, have we not leveled up yet? No, it's amazing. It's the grindiest game ever made. Uh, just kidding. Um, what is base? 500,000? We have 1,900. I don't know what all this means. And that's okay. I'm not going to understand it all. Wait. Fish soup progress? Okay. I don't, 
I don't really understand, but that's okay. All right, let's try this again. Oh, shoot, sorry. All right, we're good. Why am I st strangely fascinated by this game? Guess what we just caught? Have you ever been so excited to see a European perch? Okay, so we now have .048 towards 25 kilos for our level one quest. The problem is we're gonna run out of um, we're gonna run out of wormy baits really quick, aren't we? Uh, so what do we do then? We assume that when we hit the next level, there's going to be wormy baits available. Um, the other thing we could look at is the market, but I mean, we're not buying bait with gold. That's, that's just not our deal. You know, wait, why can't I scroll up? There we go. Oil cake. Okay. All right. Okay. Is the weather changing? Is it getting darker or is it just my imagination? Not weather, but like time of day. Oh, we might need to use a little energy. I think we got it. Hey, it's a rud. It's a heavenly rud because they're singing in the background. Yep, that was a trophy. Uh, okay. I guess eventually this is going to do something. I don't know. Eventually that must do something. Okay. I mean, I think we should probably try a piece of flavored bread. Um, and, and just, let's just hope for the best. Let's just hope for the best here. Do we ever level up though? I'm, I'm a little concerned about, Hey, hey, we're doing it. We don't have to use our power. Uh, Non-trophy roach. Uh, okay. Tell you what, let's let's really uh, let's really let's really go for it. We're gonna throw this flavored bread on the bottom, and uh, we're gonna we're gonna cross our fingers here. We've got a lot of power left, so maybe we'll have a chance. I don't know. Okay, I like our chances. Oh, that's the fish getting away. Holy cow, we have to use max power. Keep a hand on the power. So 0.229 roach. Yeah, that wasn't even a trophy. But it was bigger than our other trophy roach? Question mark. Nope, 0.263 was the trophy. Okay. Okay. Interesting. I mean, we've almost got half a kilo from those two European perch. So as long as we can end up being able to purchase bloodworms, I guess that's a possibility. Um, all right, let's just let's just throw some bread out there. This will be our last one. Okay, this is our intro intro into uh, trophy fishing too. Thanks, Mister. I'm not. I'm not holding it against you as much as I expected to. It's actually been interesting. I do. I do fear that the pay-to-win aspects of this game are going to be way too present to like to, you know, seriously get too far into it. But hey, it's a barbel, a tiny barbel, but it's a barbel. Um, we just got the achievement called miserable. So there's something about what they're considering trophy must have to do with the size of your equipment or your level or something. I mean, that can't literally mean that that was a trophy barbel. I mean, that, you know, was not a uh, nice fish, but uh, I don't know. It's, it's weird. All right. Uh, achievements, tournaments, baits. Oh, wait. These are all the baits we have. 
We have a yellow twister? Oh, we do have some bread that goes on that as well. This is sea fishing, I bet. It's really interesting. It says we have zero of these, to be fair. So I wonder why that one even shows up. That's a bit curious. I also just don't understand how do we level. Sell or release. It's up to you. Selling it, you'll get silver coins. Letting it go, you'll get some amount of energy. I mean, I guess if you start getting low on energy, you could think about doing that some. Um, player level. With each new level, you get bonus bait, silver and gold. Also, you can buy the new fishing rods and bait. Okay, they're good. There's the answer. Open in the shop. The progress of the level is at the bottom of the screen, the thin blue strip. Oh, I see it now. Oh, can we get level one? Let's see how much it moves. Let's go back to our middle surface, middle size hook, blood worms. Let's see if we can't hit level one. It's still a lot of XP. Think about how many fish we've caught. Hmm, not sure that we're going to be able to do this, but I'll give it another fish or two. We'll then see if the bar moves much. I don't know guys if this is like a really small fish still I'm gonna be so discouraged if we actually get it in I'm not pushing anything why is it exclamation point still going up I don't know that we ever win this fight. Bad things are happening, folks. Oh, look, 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 look. Why'd the bar change? Think of how much energy we're using right now and if we don't get it in. So our only chance is that it has, if I let my finger off the space bar, by the way, it immediately uh, breaks the line or it will start to break the line. So think of how sad we are if we don't get this in, considering we'll have used like, I don't know, 200, 200 energy by then. If it just like gets away from us, looks like that's what's happening. Holy cow. So, um, it's kind of cool. <laughs> yeah we probably should be using the medium sized hook right I just figured if we could like cheese some decent sized perch out of it that it would all be worth it and a lot of them are still this size fish there, there's another perch it's tiny though alright did we get much XP yeah, I guess we kind of did get a decent amount we will never get to 25 kilos of European perch unless we like upgrade gear and stuff. I think the thing that's going to be frustrating about this game is how uh, intensely it wants you to spend money, right? Another very small European perch. I mean, we have figured out how to get the perch fairly consistently, but... These are some small fish we're catching. I think when you hit level two, you just immediately upgrade your rod. Like no questions asked. You've got to be able to aggressively get bigger fish in, I would think. If you're not upgrading your stuff like this, you know, it's going to be painful. I'm surprised they've got it set up where it takes this long to hit level two. Normally they would kind of get you in a little quicker than that to kind of try to excite you with the feeling of like okay i've leveled and also oh it's another one of these I, I don't think we'll be able to get it in oh never mind i was hitting the wrong button i think we will get this one in actually mm, now i'm not sure the trick is to like find what's the largest size fish we can manage to get in
Maybe this is it. What? <sighs> too aggressive. We are too aggressive. Oh, I really hope bloodworms or some sort of wormy bait is available at two. If not, we're kind of back to um, just bread, I guess. We should just be using a, a small hook, though. It, it, we might even be catching better fish on a small hook. We'll switch that really quick if we can get one more fish in like this. At least you can see the bait down in the water, I guess. There's some graphical representation of something. This has been a long bite, though. We probably wouldn't have to wait as long on the bites either with the smaller hook. All right, we'll switch it. I've talked myself into it. No, don't cast. Cancel cast. Did it just cast again? Oh, my word. The controls are a little wanky. But... It's okay. Uh, small hook. Blood worms. Let's go. And maybe we're better off on the bottom, but I kind of like fishing in the middle. Increases our chance of European perch. Although, now that I see how long it would actually take to get 25 kilos of perch, I don't know that that matters. I don't know that that even matters. I'm sorry, is this a small hook? Okay. Okay. I just want to see level two to see like what changes in the shop, what we get and then what changes in the shop. I mean, at this, at this level, the type of fish we're catching, the size of fish we're catching. I mean, look, it's like one silver a piece, you know, we're not getting, we're not getting any money at this point. And the quest is like forever out of reach. So what does the grind really look like? If you do, if you really do free to play and don't pump real money into it, I think it is nighttime. I think that the, you know, you see how fast the minutes are moving down here. I don't know what that average is out to be. Like it's a 24 hour period, couple hours. I, I don't know, but I think it is like midnight in the game right now. Chinese sleeper. It's nighttime. We're catching sleepers all of a sudden. Uh, let's go bread. We're not getting stuff now anyway. Let's go bread. Let's go bottom. It's late. Let's see if anything's biting down there on bread. We're really close to our level. If we can just figure out how to... Now, maybe it's different times on different water bodies. Like, we could go hit the second river and see if it's a different time. I don't know. so close i think next fish does it let's check that theory though i think that's an interesting theory let's see if it's a different time on the danube same time right almost 1 a.m Oh, will this do it? Oh, it's another gudgeon. Goodness. One more fish or two more fish? That's the question. To level up. It 
if you think about this in terms of mobile games, now I'm playing on my like gaming PC right now, so it's not a mobile game. But if you think about it in terms of mobile games, it has a lot of, um, it's interesting. It's got a lot of depth and stuff. I, now I'm not saying it is available on mobile gaming, but if it is, eh, it might be okay. What are those? We got one gold, 500 silver. That's really how you, that's really how you make your money. Okay. So now we have no experience towards level three. Uh, but we are level two now. We are level two now. So let's take a look. There they are. Oh, they cost this currency. Uh, which is the silver, right? That's good. Okay, so it's kind of confusing. We've got silver, gold, and pearls. Um, but yeah, we can get bloodworms now, which is good. What are these? Colored corn. Yeah, I mean, that's cool. But unfortunately, it costs gold, at least at this level. Hopefully, those become silver at higher levels. I don't know that for sure, though. Um, okay, pretty cool. Now, what we really want to do, though, is increase the rod. I mean, like, I think the first thing you would do is get a better rod. The only thing we have access to is the TF-1000. Um, it goes up to one kilo test. It's four meters long, 40 meter fishing line, 12 meter casting distance, so that does change. Repair cost, five silver for 1%. Okay, that's kind of scary. And it only costs us 1,500. Like, again, I think that's a no-brainer. It took so long to level, I'm assuming that you're going to want to do that at every every single by the way did this need repair 98 percent. so it's you know it's getting there uh how much is it to do this two gold mm. how much leveling had we done so we'd move some we're getting there on the tf 500 but now we're on the tf 1000 let's see what this puppy looks like oh yeah i like it i like it i guess we need to catch one fish on this now um, I mean, the question is, is the fishing on Bloodworm that much better than it has been with uh, bread? We could try Semolina. We could try Semolina. Okay, fish expert, what do you say? Just a lot of everything. Uh, what do you say here? Interesting. I kind of want to try that. I, I like the fact that it really lowers the options. Only thing we can catch is a Schneider. Let's see if the Schneider is something we want to farm. It's the only thing we can catch. Is the Schneider worth farming? That is the question right now. Does it bite at night? That's the other question. How fast will it bite? So many good questions. Not many answers though. Looks like it's gonna take a long time to get a bite. So we won't do this in this video, but during the daytime, maybe the Schneider bites, maybe it's a worthwhile fish to, like maybe we just figured out a decent strategy. I don't know. Let's go to medium depth and see if we can catch something on Semolina. I just really want to be able to look So when it says trophy, is it possible that it means it's your largest one you've ever caught? This is what I'm thinking. This is what I'm thinking. I will say that I like the fact that we can open up the tablet and then listen for the sound. Crap. Did 
we miss the fish or are we good? All right, I waited too long. So that's a bad example of what I'm talking about. But as long as you're quick, you can uh, catch it pretty fast. So what does it say about semolina? See, as long as you're good and fast, you catch the fish. Chinese sleeper. And we've already got a little bit of XP towards level two into three. So we're doing okay. Um, and I guess that basically is our inventory because what else do we have besides baits? Really nothing, right? Oh crap. Okay. Yeah, we're good. We're using a little power. Now I wonder what this fish would have been like, okay, without the uh, upgraded rod. I have a feeling we wouldn't have been able to get it in. Wait, is that it? Oh, you can see the fish on the hook. It's just our fish have been too small. All right, guys, we've got to get this fish in. Oh, why is it getting away from us? I don't know that fish get tired in this game. Oh, I just about, I just about was going to go for it. Oh, we got it. Yeah, so it's our largest roach ever. That's why we get the trophy sound. I think we figured it out. Hey, that's a decent roach. Seven silver. Seven silver. How much did the semolina catch? I mean, sorry, cost? I think it was 50? That gave us almost a full bar of XP. Okay, I like it. Ugh. This game is strangely fascinating. All right, guys. Hey, thanks for watching. Tight lines. Always appreciate your support. Thank you for being here. I'll see you next time, okay? This has been Trophy Fishing 2. Peace out.